The invitation to pray for this month of February is about growth. Now, growth is just intrinsic to a part of the kingdom of God. Uh, that is implied through the, all of scriptures, but uh, there's one picture in particular that I love. It's that dream that God gave Nebuchadnezzar the king in Daniel 2, and Daniel interpreted it. And there is a, in that dream, there's a stone that's cut out of the side of a mountain uh, without the aid of any human agency, no hands. And the stone strikes the impressive statue of the kingdoms of mankind, and uh, the statue crumbles and the wind blows it away, and the stone grows and grows and grows until it becomes a mountain that covers the entire earth. That's such a good picture of the kingdom. Well, so growth should be a part of, of anything that is uh, being done in obedience to God. But God speaks specific things to us to stimulate our faith. And I want to remind you of two things that, that God has said to Wyoming. First of all, the in original covenant, the initial covenant of, that gave birth to Wyoming, that um, the map of the world with the waves that God showed Lauren in 1956, waves of young people, while it was wave after wave after wave, they don't stop. And they, there, may be a, there may be a time where the, where the water level goes down a bit, but then it gets higher and it gets higher. And uh, I believe that we are ready for another big wave. But more than that, starting several years ago, God brought us a word from a prophetic teacher in, in YOM about uh, 200,000 new missionaries. And, and then at, at the same time, a pastor who none of us knew very well uh, wrote to Lauren and, and said God had given him a word about tenfold growth. And because we were around 20,000 at the time, those, those are really strong confirming words. And we all prayed about it and felt yes to that. And, and we don't want to lose sight of that. So that's why this invitation is about growth. Because when God says growth, what he wants us to do, whenever he gives us a, a prophetic word like that, is to test it, which we've done, and then say amen and believe it and start acting in accordance with it. So the challenge for every YOM location that is praying into this month's invitation is, what is God saying to you about growth? Uh, what would it look like to be 10 times as large? Not all in one location, but, but if, if, say, you're 50 people, what, what would it be like to grow to 500? How many other locations should, should you be planting out? What other nations are you called to? What are your circuits? So during this time, uh, I'd I like to think that everybody in YWAM would be able to pray with confidence that God has spoken and said He wants us to grow. So then we say, okay, how? Does it have to do with all the other spheres? Does it have to do with the great Chinese missions movement or the growth of the body of Christ in India or sub-Saharan Africa, uh, all of the above? Uh, what part does God have for us to play and to believe Him for, for this growth that will lead to, in the end, hundreds of thousands? of new people added to the mission force, and why I'm continuing to play the role that God has for it. So, may the Lord give you confidence that He has spoken to us about growth and lead you specifically to set goals for growth that He's given you that you can hang on to by faith and see come to pass. God bless you as you pray.